In this video, I will show you an example of operational amplifier differentiator circuit. This is the reference for the circuit. Fundamental of electric circuits, Alexander and Sadiko practice problem 6.14 third edition. There is no solution given in the book. The differentiator circuit has R equal to 10 kilo ohm, C equal to 2 microfarad. See, this is our operational amplifier differentiator circuit. The feedback resistor has a magnitude of 10 kilo ohm. The capacitor has a magnitude of 2 microfarad. Given that VI equal to 30 T, that means this input voltage VI will vary with time. It has an equation of VI equal to 30 T. We have to determine and draw the output voltage okay with respect to time so this is our given circuit in this circuit the feedback resistance rf is equal to 10 kilo ohm the bias capacitor C has a magnitude of 2 microfarad. Therefore, the time constant of this differentiator circuit tau will be equal to R into C, which will be equal to 10 kilo or 10 into 10 to the power 3 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 6. This will be equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 second or 20 millisecond and uh, here vi is equal to 30t that means when t will be greater than zero we will apply a straight line at the input side which will have a magnitude of 30t see vi is equal to 30t if we draw this input voltage we will get an straight line which will go through origin or this equation will be comparable with the straight line equation y equal to mx where the slope of this straight line will be equal to 30 and x will be t okay so we are applying a straight line here vi is equal to 30 t now see the non-inverting terminal is directly grounded therefore vp is equal to 0 volt due to negative feedback because output is connected with the inverting terminal through a feedback resistance vn will also be equal to zero due to negative feedback the current in this direction will be zero or the current in this direction will be equal to zero let's say input is supplying an input current i1 in this direction and it is leaving through this path i2 so if I apply the shock current law, at the inverting terminal, I will get I1 is equal to I2 entering current at the inverting terminal. I1 equal to I2 leaving current. So, what will be the value of I2 here? We calculate I2 by using this formula higher voltage minus lower voltage because current flows from high voltage to low voltage Vn minus Vo over Rf. Here, Vn is equal to 0, so I will get minus Vo over Rf. The current outside the capacitor will be equal to c dvc over dt here this vc is the voltage difference across the two terminals of the capacitor as current will be flowing in this direction so this terminal should be at higher potential and this terminal should be at lower potential so here we will get c d v i minus v n over dt Here Vn is equal to 0. So I2 will be equal to C dVi dt. So if I put the equations of I1 and I2 here, I will get 
minus V O over R F equal to C D V I of D T or our output V O will be equal to minus R F into C D V I of D T or D D T of V I. Here we know that minus R F into C is equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 d v i is equal to 30 t 30 t if i take the derivative here i will get minus 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 30 so v o will be equal to minus 0 0.6 volt and this is the output voltage for the operational amplifier differentiator circuit that means for this input voltage when t will be greater than 0 as long as there will be an input voltage our output voltage will be fixed at minus 0 0.6 volt and this will be the output waveform of this differentiator circuit okay that's it thank you